fucking kidding me? Come on. Yeah, that was a big waste of time, taking apart that tape drive. Anyways, thanks for joining me for another video. Uh, today is part two of the LTO recovery. Uh, so I'm not going to go and, uh, in details on the recovery itself. I'm just going to go and show you uh, what we did in this case. So this is another case with LTOs. These are much older, LTO2. And at the end of the video, I'm going to talk about a little bit more about LTOs and what they could be used for and uh, uses in, in, your, in your business maybe because I, we, we're thinking about uh, going to LTO to backing up our forensic cases. Uh, but yeah, anyways, let's get to the video.
fucking kidding me? Come on. Yeah, that's a clean cartridge, so I did all this for nothing. Well, good to know. <clears throat> so while we're here, let's have a look at this drive here. We got an ARM processor, this is Quantum ARM. LS Logic, Seagate LSI. That's a pretty old drive. Okay, well, that was a big waste of time taking it apart. So let's get to the tapes in that case. And here's the drive reading. You can actually hear it. So I've run through all these tapes, we're pretty much done. We have one running now, and there's another one right here. So once these two go, we're pretty much finished here for this second uh, LTO. And this one here, I don't know. I don't know whether we're gonna pull it out or what we're gonna do, but this drive is pretty old. Okay, so uh, all the tapes are done, minus two tapes. The two tapes are gonna read, so uh, the backup software wasn't working on those two tapes, so we're gonna just to kind of rule out the uh, possibility that the tape were corrupted during backup or something of that nature. So I have them here in uh, Nucleus kernel tape data recovery software. This is the one I mentioned in the first video. Uh, we're again, once again, trying the uh, evaluation copy. Uh, so we're gonna run it here and we're gonna see what happens. It might, uh, it might work, it might not work. Who knows? Um, so this process takes some time. Uh, when we ran the tapes a few weeks ago, when, the, when we first got them, uh, and when the case first time came in, uh, we got the data, but like I mentioned in the first video, uh, the recovery wasn't very good. But anyways, this is running. We're gonna see what we're gonna get. So anyway, while that's going, I do want to talk about LTO itself. Um, should you be using it for your business or shouldn't you? Um, you know, it all depends what you need. I, I think. LTO uh, as a cold storage backup is a great solution. So if you need uh, data that won't be um, damaged by bit rot or, or you know, if you need to store data for a long time without having you needing to access it uh, only maybe once in a while, I think LTO is a great solution. Uh, we might look into getting LTO ourselves um, because we, right now we're putting a lot of our forensic cases on hard drives and they're just sitting on shelves and then taking up space. I mean, not, not to say that uh, tapes won't take up space, but at least I have to less worry about tapes. Um, it's just a matter of keeping tapes in the right environment, right? Um, so they're still being produced. Um, there's uh, 20 terabyte tapes coming out. There could be larger one, I think, uh, coming out. Let's uh, let's look uh, largest LTO tape. Let's see what we what they have. Um, so we can see quantum. Um, Still makes uh, it's quantum, is it quantum Seagate? I don't even know. That's interesting. Um, yeah, so you can still buy LTO. I'm pretty sure you can go um, eBay.ca. Let's look at for some uh, LTO drive, tape drive. Let's see what's um, up there. Well, you can pick them up. Uh, yeah, so they usually have uh, SAS connection 8088. That's what we're using on our server. We're using uh, the SAS 8088 uh, SFF um, hookup. You can still buy drives. They're pretty expensive. Uh, I don't know if you want to buy this one. This one doesn't look very interesting, but yeah, definitely a, a great um, storage solution for tapes uh, for, for, for your uh, data. But it all depends what you need. If you need quick, ac quick access, you don't want to waste time. Uh, spinning up tapes and waiting for them, then obviously tapes is not, not an option for you, but um, if you're okay with just backing it up and putting it aside and just needing it once in a while, then tape is a great, great option. Um, so yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Like and share, subscribe, the usual YouTube BS. Um, I'm gonna get back into flash recovery by next week. I have two videos made, then they're just... 
having a chance to put them together and plus the, this rush job uh, LTO job came in so um, that's who we're doing this whole time but anyways uh, see you in the next video